G'day folks and welcome to episode 3 of the Cinema Australia Wrap. My name's Matthew Eels. Now, there's so much Australian film news to get through, so let's get started. Uh, Warwick Thornton's highly anticipated uh, Australian film Sweet Country won the Special Jury Prize at the 2017 Venice Film Festival recently. Inspired by real events, Sweet Country follows an Aboriginal stockman who is being pursued across the outback after killing a white station owner. Uh, Sweet Country stars Hamilton Morris, Ewan Leslie, Natasia Gori Ferber, Brian Brown, Gibson John, Sam Neill, Thomas M. Wright and Matt Day. Here's a look at some of the trailer. I'm Harry March. It's taken over North Creek Station. I need to fix up my trap yard. I was wondering if you could help me. Where'd you get your black stock from? Oh, no. We're all equal here. We're all equal in the eyes of the Lord. Come on. No, 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 no. Shut no, up! No, no, no. Shut up! Come on, you little bastard! Ah. Ah. You run away, I'll shoot you for desertion! You give me that boy, you hide it! You let him out! You harboring a piss now! You can see the full trailer now at cinemaaustralia.com.au where you can also find brand new trailers for What If It Works, Innuendo The Bad Twin, 1%, Oconee, West of Sunshine, The Song Keepers and Friends, Foes and Fireworks. The first wave of programming has been announced for Monster Fest 2017. Chris Sun's long-awaited Ausploitation horror film Boar will have its Australian premiere at this year's festival and will screen alongside The Last Hope, Tarnation, Lost Scully Road, The Viper's Hex and All Night Gaming. Monster Fest runs from the 23rd to the 26th of November. Exciting young director Rhiannon Bannenberg and producer Steve Jaggy joined the Cinema Australia podcast recently to discuss their new film Riptide. Uh, here's some of what Bannenberg had to say. And I, I came um, to the project really through Steve. Uh, um, look, to be fair, it was kind of Steve's um, Steve's idea from the beginning. Um, and then I um, he brought on Georgia Harrison, who was the writer. And then, um, you know, there were definitely things, even from the very beginning, that I connected with. You know, even just the fact that, you know, a lot of the story takes place, you know, in a small coastal town. I grew up down on the south coast of New South Wales. Um, so that kind of environment and the sort of characters that we see in Riptide were very familiar to me. Um, and also it's a story about a young woman and a group, and particularly a group of a group of women um, from different generations. And that's um, something that I have a, a keen interest in as well. So in that way, I was I was suited to it and, and found a, a connection to it. Um, but it was the actual genesis of it was was really accredited to Steve. You can listen to the full podcast now at cinemaaustralia.com.au. Uh, you can also hear our latest podcast with Red Christmas director. Craig Anderson, as well as new interviews with Alex Lorian, who discusses his new film Subject 36, and Shari Sebens, who talks about her new film Australia Day, which is in select cinemas now. A writer, director and producer Dave O'Hardy has released a very special Auslan Q&A for his new film A Silent Agreement. The Q&A features Hardy, as well as actors Joshua Seeley and Jennifer McLaughlin, who discussed the new film. Uh, take a look. You can see the full interview now at cinemaaustralia.com.au. Emil Tickets director Matt De Koning has announced his new documentary, 29 Years and Eight Days. The new film is said to be an intimate portrayal of Perth artist Matt Doust, an internationally renowned portrait painter from Perth who died suddenly from an epileptic fit in 2013. 29 Years and Eight Days will be directed by De Koning and produced by Brooke Silcox. The producers of The Bubba Duke have also announced their new film called Buoyancy, 
Buoyancy will be shot entirely on location in Cambodia and Thailand and follows the journey of an innocent boy who is enslaved on a Thai fishing trawler. You can find out more about both films at cinemaaustralia.com.au. We've recently launched a new feature over at cinemaaustralia.com.au called In Focus. We'll be using this feature to introduce readers to new Australian feature films which may not be on your radar yet. Uh, films featured so far are Cult Girls, Pimped and The Dunes. The one film which should be on everyone's radar at the moment is Tony Prescott's The Pretend One, the best Australian film to come out of this country in years and only the second film Cinema Australia has ever awarded five stars. Uh, take a look at the trailer. Who's your best friend, Charlie? Hugo. Is he an imaginary friend? No, he's my real friend. Then why can't I see him? Only I... Charlie, it's because he's not real, which is fine for when you're little. But you're a big girl now. Rat. Mm. Morning, rat. Don't you ever sleep in? Unless you don't need an alarm clock. Dream that we were younger. <laughs> Do you Guy, it's my daughter Charlie. Guy. He's a pilot for the ABC. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I don't actually fly. I'm making a pilot for the ABC. Do you love him? How could I love him? I've only just met him. Too soon for love. So you can't touch anything? No. Nope. Try and touch me. Come on. Oh, Dad's just gone to town. I'm doing the interviews. Don't want those men in white coats to come and get me, do we? things, they, they make what they have work. I don't want you seeing him again. Oh yeah, and how are you going to stop me? What they have is no one. I'm going to need some manly advice, mate. Have you ever been in love, Roger? Yes, I have. He'll never know you like I do. Yeah, well, at least he can touch me. Well, that's all for now, folks. Uh, be sure to visit cinemaaustralia.com.au where you can keep up to date with all the latest Australian film news. And don't forget, if you've made an Australian feature film or a short film, get in touch. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Anyway, bye for now. <laughs>